Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be looking at a well a weird sort of product because I didn't know it existed. I was walking through the shops and I came across this thing right here. It's a black rice pudding. So it's um, made by a company called Arlington's. I think they were advertising it as like made New South Wales type thing. So that's where I am right now, New South Wales, Australia. Yep it is, so I suppose, I mean, I don't know if that means anything. It doesn't mean anything to me to be honest. Anyway, they've got like five or six different flavours of this pudding. I don't know what it's made of though. Um, looks like it's mostly water, black rice, coconut cream, brown sugar. Yeah, so looks like it's like a, I think it's like a coconut, kind of, kind of like a coconut yogurt, but this one's got rice in it, so it's like a rice pudding. Um, the you know, interesting thing about this particular one is you can see the shape of the container there is all bent out of shape. Every single of the black rice puddings were all bent out of shape and all the other flavours were just, you know, the regular round shaped container. So I don't know what, why that is, but I don't suppose it means anything. Anyway, it says in the back, natural, gluten free, dairy free, vegan friendly, so that's good. A little sort of palm on the top, a little treat that's soft and sweet. It's good for you and fun to eat. So, hmm. let's get into this. Doesn't smell like much. See so all the rice and stuff in it. Well, it's not got a strong flavour. It tastes like your basic rice pudding that's not too sweet. Yeah, that's about it. It's like a more, um, less a flavoured sort of rice pudding. So it's less sweet. A little less ricey, like sort of starchy as well. It's less starchy because of the black rice. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's not standing out to me like, oh, this is an amazing product, but it does taste okay. Like, it's fine to eat. Like I said, they've got more flavors in this that don't have rice in them, I don't think. I don't think. So maybe it's worth picking another one as well. But that one is not too bad. Like I said, it doesn't have much flavor, but I don't know. It's. Okay, like it's, yeah, I don't know, you just eat it. It just doesn't taste like anything. It's got a good consistency, it's kind of like yogurt. It's like a yogurt sort of consistency. It's really good if you like unflavored yogurt. Yeah. But anyway, worth looking at. They've got a few other flavors. If you've tried the other flavors, you can let me know in the comments. That'd be interesting. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So something a little different. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I can't really say much because there's nothing to talk about because there's not much to it. But anyway, cool. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. I don't know, if you want to. And that is all there is to it. Actually, while I'm on this video, um, I'm thinking of doing like a giveaway type thing, but I want to get to like a certain amount of subscribers before I do something like a giveaway. So I'm thinking like something in the area of like around a thousand subscribers or so should be where we should be standing at to do something like a giveaway. So if you can get me there, then we'll do something like that. But in the meantime, just more vegan food reviews. So see you next time.